vitamin D, probiotics, fish oil. What the heck are we supposed to be taking? Stick around, in this video, I'll be sharing with you essential supplements that can help boost your health. I get asked quite frequently, what supplement should I take? And my first comeback to that question is, well, supplements cannot replace a cruddy diet, poor sleep, and lack of stress management. So let's be clear about one thing first, that food is the ultimate medicine and supplements cannot replace a poor diet, poor sleep, you get the drip. So I just wanna be clear on that, but there are some supplements that could certainly help your health. And today I'm gonna to share with you just a couple of supplements that are what I would call essential or kind of basic, fundamental in your plan. Uh, one thing would be vitamin D. Vitamin D, we are often deficient in vitamin D. And how would you know? Ask your doctor to do a vitamin D test for you. A, a hydroxy 25 vitamin D test is a simple blood test they can do on your lab draw. And based on that level, that would be how much vitamin D you're taking. And when you take vitamin D, you wanna make sure on the bottle that it says vitamin D3 in a gel cap form. That's the best form uh, for you to absorb. Secondly, what's another thing to look into? You might want to consider a fish oil. So a fish oil or omega-3 healthy fat, omega-3 fatty acids are a type of heart healthy fat that can help with uh, brain function. They can help with lowering uh, undesirable particles in our cholesterol. They can also help with inflammation. So there's lots of reasons why one might take an omega-3 fish oil supplement. I don't work for any particular supplement company, so do your due diligence in finding a brand that's um, a good product for you. Another thing you might want to consider taking is maybe a probiotic. So you're going to hear me talking a lot about gut health in coming uh, videos, but our gut health is huge. It is so important to our health and wellness. If we have an imbalance in our gut flora, that leads to more uh, conditions related to maybe depressed moods or of course gastrointestinal issues. We are just uncovering many, many health conditions that can relate to poor gut function. And a root of that is not having enough healthy bacteria in our gut or what we call probiotics. So eating fermented foods that um, naturally have these probiotics in them and also considering supplementing your diet would be some uh, really good tips to help with your gut health. Lastly, one thing I'll just throw in with you in this video is I have a lot of clients that feel better after removing a food intolerance, uh, the big one being gluten. They'll take gluten out and they do a lot better. Uh, many folks are also dairy sensitive. They'll do better being off dairy. And so they've removed the offending food which is great, but we also need to replace um, nutrients and we need to help repair um, the gastrointestinal tract. So there's many products out there that are for GI benefits or for um, healing and sealing the gut function. So if you're doing really well off of certain foods, but you're just maybe having some more bloating or indigestion, you might wanna look into some supplements that help you repair the gut uh, lining and your gut cells. Today's TMWTD you know, tell me what to do. Consider taking a probiotic, vitamin D, and fish oil as healthy additions to living a healthy life. Now, if you found this video informative, don't keep it to yourself. Share it with your friends on Facebook. And if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel. That way, you'll never miss an upcoming episode of Your Tasty Life.